Well, I'm artifacts of Mars, and if you have a question about where Mars Station is going, uh, this is a new set that took a while to build. All I can say is this involves very hungry plants. This is one of the characters from the movie. I'm not going to say whether he's a good, by, good guy or bad guy. I might try to turn this into a shit. The problem is that linking objects that are far away from each other doesn't work so hot in Second Life. That's the major problem. And the other thing is, that's not really a door there, it's just a phantom. They know how to, people know how to uh, do this. They know how to make doors that uh, swing open and shut even when they're attached to other things. I don't. I haven't figured it out yet. So that can be another impediment to um, actually saving this as an actual ship. It's pretty large. Now, before I show you the good part, I'll show you the birthing area. I just didn't put a door on it. This is for the crew of this ship. Not that much there, but it's just to make it look good, actually. Now I'm going to show you one of the good parts. Well, these plants are going to eat you if you're not careful. <laughs> Watch this. It's a rather nasty character in there, uh... So, he just took a seat in this plant. Like I said, I had some very hungry plants. And you can see he's being swallowed up by it. Yum, yum. Alright, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this, so... We'll let him out. Remember, this is fantasy. Your uh, avatar will never be harmed doing this. No people are ever harmed, even when they're shot. They go down and get killed. They're not being killed. There are some psychos out there who would equate this with, Oh no, people are being killed. No, they're not. These are pixels on a screen. For those of you who can't differentiate... Now this is a passenger birthing. The ship storyline is that the ship was constructed for uh, fearing diplomats, business people, and whatnot to between planets. I can give away that much. And here's the chow hall for the passengers. I am working on it, you know, three hours translates into one three-minute scene. Now compare that to Hollywood. I mean, it probably takes some days to make one scene. But I'm doing animation, not live action. Okay? So what little surprises are in here? This is a hangar bay, which is big enough. It loves doing that. This is a hangar bay that's big enough for... That's a... Actually a Federation Type 12 shuttle. If anybody on Second Life wants a copy of it, I can give you a copy. It's no modify. Flies pretty good. That's actually a pretty spacious hangar bay that I built. And here are the stasis tubes. Remember, I can only do three avatars at a time, but it's just for fact. 
There's a storyline uh, around them. They're vital to the storyline, let me put it to you that way. And finally, before I go, we'll take a look at the exterior of the ship that I've built. Yeah, you can fly in Second Life if you didn't know that. But always, always, always remember that this is pure fantasy. I use Second Life as a tool for uh, my Mars studies to an extent, but this is fa when doing something like this, always remember it's pure fantasy. But I love a good science fiction story, so I'm okay with that. Give me an idea of the outside. Alright, it's not the prettiest of ships. I might try to link it up. I Once I get done with the video, I haven't decided. I tried once before and I failed. I'm going to think about a different uh, strategy for it. Just two outboard night cells and the front. This is designed to be essentially a big barge to carry like said, diplomats, business people, that type of thing. And it gets interwoven with a storyline. And quite a story it is. This is actually, this texture on here is actually pretty typical sci-fi texture. And that's about the I will uh, be doing, I will be chipping away at it and getting about one scene per day on average. I have to write the uh, dialogue and once I get dialogue written, then I stage the scenes. Without a lot of voice, and I stitch the two together into a scene. Using film more. That's how I do this. Of course, there he is standing there on the ship. Anyway, that's uh, number seven for you. I'm getting it ready. I don't have a release date yet. Well, it depends on the weather. The weather's nice on the weekend, I'm out in the woods. Or out on the lake or something. Out of the house. If the weather's lousy, like it has been, I'll be inside probably working on Mars Station. I'm Artifacts Mars. Thanks for watching.